Okay, let's go ahead and solve this nice little math word problem here. And of course, the first step in solving any problem in mathematics is to read the problem. So let's go ahead and do that right now. It says the difference between a number and twice that number is negative 10. What is the number? So this is an interesting little problem, and probably a lot of you out there are not going to get this correct because you don't really understand this word right here. Now, I don't want to give you too many hints here because I want to give you a full opportunity to solve this problem all on your own. So if you think you could solve this particular math problem, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I want to show you the correct answer in just one moment, and then, of course, we're going to go through how to solve this problem and some important things that you need to know about some math words that are going to come up over and over again, especially in math word problems. But uh, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I have been teaching math for decades. I absolutely love teaching mathematics. And I'm going to tell you right now, all of you could be successful in math, but you need to learn from someone or something that you actually understand. And the way I like to teach math is to really try to explain it in the easy to understand way that all people can get what's going on without watering down with, uh, what you need to know. So if you need help in your current math course, or maybe some sort of special test that you're getting ready for that has math on it, things like the SAT, uh, GED, maybe a teacher certification exam, or if you're homeschooling mathematics, check out my math help program. I'm gonna leave a link to it in the description of this video. I literally have over 100 plus different math courses that span these categories and much, much more. I'm also gonna leave links to my uh, math notes in the description as well. Most students don't take detailed enough math notes, okay? Some of you don't take any math notes at all. If you truly wanna learn math, you gotta be a great note taker, but you can use my notes in the meantime if you like. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the answer to this question, the difference between a number and twice that number is negative 10. Uh, what is the number? Let's go ahead and take a look at the answer right now. The number is 10. Okay, so how did you do? Well, if you got this right, let's go ahead and celebrate by giving yourself a nice little happy face and A plus a 100% and a few stars so you can kind of show off to your friends and family that you were able to successfully uh, negotiate and conquer a math word problem today. But uh, let's go ahead and get into this problem. And I kind of indicated in the beginning of this video that in order to do this problem, we need to understand this word right here. So the difference between a number and twice that number, really, I uh, kind of apologize, I should have the word is right here, is negative 10. But uh, what is the number? Well, we need to understand the difference, okay? Now, probably most of you out there think of the difference as what? Well, you're probably thinking about subtraction, right? So that's good, right? That's your, you know, we have different math operations. We have addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. But along with these uh, particular math uh, operations, we have some words that kind of go along with them. So for addition, we have the sum. For subtraction, we have what? The difference. So what is the word we use for uh, a multiplication that involves multiplication? Well, hopefully you said, oh, isn't it the product? You would be correct. And how about division? Well, division, we use the word quotient. Right? So you need to know these words. So let's just quickly review these words because, yes, we're dealing with the difference, but I could have easily just um, used uh, another one of these words, and we've been dealing with a different math operator. So let's quickly review these words, and then we'll take a look at the difference here. But let's start off with the sum, product, and quotient. All right, so if we say the sum of x and y, if I wanted to know the sum of x and y, what am I looking to do? Well, I'm looking to add, <clears throat> excuse me, x plus y, right? So x plus y is the same as this statement, the sum of x and y. All right, how about the product of x and y? Well, the product of x and y is x times y. All right, so our x times y, we can write that as the product of x and y. Now, the quotient of x and y is x divided by y, right? And you can write it this, uh, this way as well, x divided by y. This is the quotient of x and y. And now let's go ahead and take a look at the difference. Okay, so the difference of x and y 
is specifically x minus y, okay? So the difference of x minus y, x comes first and y comes second. Because if you reverse the order here, you will get a different answer, specifically the wrong answer, right? So x minus y is, um, the difference between x minus y is x minus y, not y minus x, all right? That's a critically important uh, detail that you need to understand. And oftentimes uh, when this word is in a math word prompt, uh, a lot of students confuse this. So that's why I really want to make sure you totally understand it. So if you understand the difference, then we well, should be able to do this prompt with a little bit of algebra involved, but not that, uh, it's gonna, you know, hopefully not gonna be that difficult of a prompt to do. So the difference between a number and twice that number is, let's go ahead and put that word is, negative 10, what is the number? Well, we need to kind of uh, set, establish some variables here, right? We're dealing with a word prom, and we're dealing with a number, right? So we have a number. So in algebra, if you want to represent a number, you can use a variable. So let's go ahead and let n equal the number, okay? So we'll establish the variable n as being the number. And what would be twice that number? Well, it would simply be 2n, right? So twice n would be two times n, so we'll let 2n equal twice the number. All right, so we have n and 2n, we have the number and twice that number, and we understand what the difference is. So now we need to go ahead and set up what? Well, we need to set up an equation because we have some variables involved, but you can't solve for um, any variables in algebra unless you have an equation. And we know that the difference between these two numbers here is negative 10. So let's go to express that. Let's go ahead and express that using algebra. All right. So again, we need to keep in mind the difference, uh, what it specifically means. The difference of x and y is x minus y. And the difference between a number and twice that number is going to be n minus 2n, right? So n minus 2n is the difference between the number and twice that number. So order makes a difference. It's not 2n minus n, it's n minus 2n. And the difference between in the number and twice the number is negative 10. So this is our basic equation. So let's go ahead and solve this now. So we have n minus 2n. So this is a positive 1n. So this is a negative 2n. So positive 1 plus negative 2 is negative 1n. So negative 1n is equal to negative n. How do I solve for n? Well, we need to go ahead and divide both sides of the equation by negative 1. So negative 10 divided by negative 1 is 10. So n is equal to 10. But let's go ahead and check our answer. So if the number is 10 and twice the number would be what? 2 times 10 is 20. So is the difference between 10 and twice 10, which is 20, negative 10? Well, let's go ahead and check right now. So 10 minus 20, is that in fact negative 10? Of course it is, so 10 minus 20 is the same thing as 10 plus negative 20, which is of course negative 10, and negative 10 is equal to negative 10, and it all worked out to be true. So this is how you check your solution to an equation, is just plug those values back in and check your answer. And by the way too, just as I'm kind of thinking about this, anytime you're taking a test, an exam, quiz, never ever ever turn in your test exam quizzes early, okay? If you have enough time to check your answer, always check your answer, because you can check uh, uh, you know, your final work, especially when it comes to an equation, to see if you, in fact, you, um, you know, you're kind of basically grading yourself, like, hey, let's go ahead and just check to see if our answer makes sense, and of course, in this particular case, it does. All right, so again, when you're dealing with algebra, you need to understand these words the specific definition of the difference, the quotient, the product, the sum, they will come up over and over again. But uh, hopefully this little problem helped you out. If you need help with um, additional kind of algebra word problems, let me give you a couple suggestions. One, I have a ton of word problem, uh, algebra word problem videos on my YouTube channel you can check out. But again, uh, math word problems are at, it all depends on what level of math that you're in, right? So when you're in pre-algebra, you have basic algebra word problems, or if you're taking pre-calculus or algebra two, you certainly have more difficult word problems, and it all depends on what topic as well. You can have quadratic equation word problems, systems of equation word problems, basic linear equation uh, word problems. So 
you know, you don't want to be like, hey, I need help with word problems. You really need to understand what level of math you're at and what topic you're studying, okay? But anyways, if you go to my math help program, I have a ton of different courses you can choose from to help you out. But uh, with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.